Hey guys, Jason Sam Kovac here, Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. We're going to take a minute and talk about my canoe rack, your cargo rack, your overlanding rig, a homemade setup that you can use for your truck. Overlanding is becoming very popular now. People are trying to get out and do this stuff, especially out west for a week or two a year. Um, there's a lot of great things you can do with this, but let's just talk about it, the one I made for a minute. Now, I've been on five years with this. It's traveled across the country with me five times both ways with gear on it and kayaks and canoes and everything. It's held up incredible and it's been through three new trucks. I, I just had to modify it. Just finished doing the mods to get it to fit my uh, 2019 Ram 2500. But let's talk about this thing for a minute. What you see right here, I originally designed this as a canoe rack. And I'll probably put a video at the end of this or a link up here in a card somewhere on here. You'll see it to when I originally made this. Um, and the reason I did was because the steel one, you know, was a problem. It gave me a, a bunch of problems and it, you know, it, it actually ripped up a corner of my truck when I hit a tree with it. It, you know, caught a corner of a tree. I wanted something that I could fix and repair because when that happened, luckily I was only about an hour from home. But when it happened, it wrecked that rack and I couldn't use it anymore. I couldn't even get it to get home. So this is repairable on the road. This is also easy to make. It holds way more weight, way more sturdy, way stronger, better than anything that mounts to the top of your rails. It's a flawless system, and uh, I've been real happy with it. Like I said, we're going on five years. This is basically two by four construction here. Okay, now the beauty of this, unlike most of those, this one breaks down. I can actually take this whole rack apart, and I end up with this whole front, uh, you know, H section right here. In the back H section right here, and then all of these legs, these two top ones, the two side ones there, and the two side ones here all come off. This whole thing will stack right here against the wall. All those rail and uprights go right, and they fit right inside of that. The truss is right there, and then I lean those two, um, the two main pieces that you see right here. The two of those will lean right against that wall, and it is completely out of the way. No problems, no muss, no fuss. Again, we're not using it's not like we're overlanding and, and carrying this stuff, you know, every single day. You know, that's, you know, if you're a contractor, maybe you want it for a ladder rack. But for most of us, it's a couple of times a year. I use this two to three weeks a year, and I put this in a truck. Now, with it being bolt together system, like you're seeing right here, okay, see, I got the lines on there. Just show me what bolts where. Um, but with those bolts, um, it's nice. I can take this apart and put it back together in about 10 minutes. And you can see I color keyed everything with a red and a black right here. So it's real simple. So I know what it is. They're all labeled. You can see every one of these bars is labeled even on the bottom there. See, I labeled every one of them. So I know exactly where they go. C is towards cab. And then I know I got my lines right here. Real quick and simple assembly for this thing um, to put it together. And like I said, I can fit two canoes. I can mount anything on here. Like I said, overlanding is becoming much more popular now. And people are trying to find ways to get more gear in their trucks and be able to do this stuff on this. Well, you could very easily make this where you could put a pop-out or a uh, pop-out rooftop tent on the top of this if you wanted to um, with another cross beam in there. You could also make this where you can mount like my uh, you see my uh, recovery tracks, my uh, recovery boards there. Those would mount very simply right on the side of this. On the inside of here, I can mount tree stands and have all of our stands and sticks set on there. I can do so many things with this. I could even enclose this with a canvas tarp and turn it into an actual sleep, uh, you know, a tent in the bed of my truck. So there's so many different things that you can do with this. And it's custom tailored your way. And it's dirt cheap in price. I want to say I got about probably 40 bucks invested in this versus the uh, $250 other one that I bought, steel one, which, like I said, didn't last 25 miles before I broke it. Um, you know, this thing here, this is tough as nails. You cannot move this. You cannot shake this. You cannot, you, I mean, this thing will hold, you could probably put a thousand pounds on this without problems. And uh, like I said, if you're driving across town or you're out of state or something like that and something happens and you clip a pole at a drive through or something, Something like that with one of these end beams and you snap this off you can run to any hardware store any lumber store and get the piece you need and screw it back together in 10 minutes and have it repaired so there's so many advantages advantages to this now mine i did spray that with a can with a can of uh you know polyurethane i sprayed it five years ago when i built it uh this year to make it fit in my 2500 i had to make new cross beams here these, all four of these beams are new because of the length. I went from a five and a half foot bed to a six and a half foot bed. So I had to make those. But these uprights that you see here, this whole H main front with the, with the, you know, the 45s on there, that whole, the front half and the back half, five years old. 
these things have been going and uh, they hold up incredible it's durable as can be I just cannot you know like I said nothing wrong with really cool looking custom stuff and all that kind of thing but for using it for a couple times a year being able to break it down and store it anywhere you want out of the way you could fit this in a in a hall closet and it not take up that much space so there's so many advantages to using this and the strength and durability that um, I'll never ever go to any other kind of rack for carrying stuff like that again like I said the amount of abuse we put this on you know the rough roads and uh, mountain roads and stuff that we're taking this thing down with with you know 200 pound kayaks on it you, you just can't beat the durability strength and, and longevity of this so this system is fantastic again i'm not going to give you dimensions because it's irrelevant everybody's truck is different build it to meet your truck okay that's what i did now if you look at this i will show you this tomorrow when i actually put it in a truck right now i'm uh i'm gonna wait and do it tomorrow when i load everything up for us to get ready to go to kansas but i I have it so that this front half goes right against my tailgate when my tailgate closes it closes right up against this just i mean there's maybe a 16th of an inch between here and the tailgate so it's nice and tight same with this end this is the cab end this goes butts right up snug tight right to the front of my cab on my tailgate or in my bed of my truck right up to the rail there like that and then each of these side rails fit very nice and tight in there and then I can strap right to those right to my tie down so um just a sweet simple system and it is so rock solid that I I I, I said the same thing when I did the original review on this, and I used it, talked about using it just as a as a boat, kayak, canoe rack. Um, it's phenomenal. But now, like I said, when I realize the versatility of this and the things that you can do, and it's the simple eye bolts or anything or just strapping on, but I could hang so many stands, all my gear, traction boards, refrigerators. I could build a, a shelf right here and put in a cooler. I could mount extra cargo boxes. I could do so much with this thing. And as far as the durability and longevity, like I said, I think you're hard pressed to beat it. It's never going to rust. It doesn't dent. It holds up incredible. It's stronger than anything metal you get. It costs you a whopping $40 to make, and you can customize it any way you want. Does it look a little hillbilly? Yeah, but do I care? Not even a little bit. I mean, I got nobody to impress. Plus, besides that, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm driving around in a $70,000 pickup truck. I mean, obviously, if I wanted to buy a, a nicer looking rack, I probably could have, you know? I mean, not to be sound arrogant or anything like that, but point being, it's, you know, I mean, it's not like I, I wouldn't have been able to afford to do it in, in the grand scheme of things with the price of that rig. Point being, this re may look a little rednecky kind of thing, but I'm all right with it. it the functionality, versatility, and ability for me to customize it any way I want, anytime I want for multiple trips makes it so worthwhile. I love this thing. I'll show you when I get it set up in a truck tomorrow. Right now, it's, uh, uh, as you can see, snowing out like crazy out there, pretty miserable, and it's only 19 degrees. So I got my hose and everything thawing out here, so tomorrow I can fill up all my water jugs. Those water jugs are full from my last trip and are still... They're froze solid, so I'm trying to heat this stuff up and uh, get everything ready so I can get stuff together. So tomorrow I will show you this in the bed of the truck with my boat on there, and then I head down and I meet up with John and pick his stuff up. So, But I will show you this in action here tomorrow for you. All right, well, there you go. You can see it right there. That's that canoe. That is my 11 foot, nine inch, 119 guide canoe strapped in on there. But you can see how that fits up on there so good. And you have such options. You can see that you could, I mean, the, the versatility of this cart is perfect. I got my firewood in there. Straps down in each of the corners, right to the tie downs. This thing is not moving. It is so solid. You've never seen anything as solid as this, I promise you. And uh, that canoe is not moving. I'm going to put John's kayak or his canoe right up on there as well wall too but you could hang stands from the insides of this thing you could put a piece of plywood across the top and then put a two-man tent up there if you wanted to i mean the sky is the limit with how you could build this you could actually cut a canvas inside and put an air bed in this and use it for a tent on the inside too so much versatility to what you can do with this little homemade overland rack canoe rack whatever you want but so many things you can do with it so versatile so affordable easy to make you can see the bolts right there again where i said where these all these all these supports pop right off and this whole thing folds up next to nothing and takes no time to put together it takes about seven eight minutes to put it together and about four minutes to lock it in the truck and uh you know we're
we're not all doing this stuff 24 7 so having to have something with it's permanently mounted on your rig it may look cool but it defeats the purpose it kills gas mileage and it's a pain in the butt having a rig like this that you can customize yourself well worth it and this one like i said it's been across the country five times now and this thing is just held up to it nothing has, I mean, there is no better rack out there i promise you you cannot buy a stronger more solid or more durable rack system back there than what this is you just can't do it i, I don't care what they say I've, I've been to the shows i've seen these things i put my hands on them i messed with them they're, they're, you just can't beat this it's flawless awesome setup very affordable easy to customize and there you go